At the end of a long day, most of us go home to a warm meal, <laughs> sit on the couch, and unwind. Not these guys. This group of hockey players heads to the Cedar Rapids Ice Arena. Just get a blow off steam and, and get out and get some exercise. John Starr was in the National Guard and spent time overseas. Now during the day, he's a mailman. At night, he delivers incredible saves. And in return, his team delivers something to him. The guys you play with and stuff like that after getting out of the military, I miss the camaraderie. Someone. Amy Sindler, I'm a cardiovascular physiologist, is a UI researcher. But you don't have to be a scientist to see what gets her blood pumping. I've made so many friends doing this, and it's almost like my life is like before hockey and after hockey because it's changed so much. And then there's Andrew Wood. He played for years, took a long break, then came back. I don't know, I just miss playing it. Once he started again, he lost 30 pounds. It's like, oh man, I finally thought I was in shape for hockey, but it's like nothing ever really quite gets you ready for hockey except playing more hockey. No matter what you do, no matter how old you are. From age three to age, I think our oldest person is 72. There is no discrimination once you hit the ice. Oh, there it was. And a sport that's obviously good for any body. I am pretty tired. Becomes good for the soul, too. You take that first stride on the ice, and you're just so happy. There's a lot of, like, screwing around in the locker room and joking before the game and after the game. I'm going to quit this team. We're all kind of like a family now already. I don't know anybody who's tried it who hasn't stayed. No matter what happens, they got your back. Sometimes the scoreboard says they won. Other times, they didn't do so well. Most of the time, it doesn't matter. We don't really care if we win or lose. We just want to have fun. And... Because here, after their day jobs are done, <laughs> they are anybody they want to be. You get to put on shoulder pads that make you feel like you can take on the world. You can be a different person on the ice. They admit it takes some effort to get here. Oh, man, I'm dying. But once you do, it's worth it. Sort of like having an edge on the rest of the world.